This Swedish luxury car is saying, take a chance on me. <laughs> oh yeah, take a chance on me. But for right now, we've got other things to discuss besides this wonderful Volvo made right here in the United States. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Rant. I'm Mark, your disturbed host. And today, other than Volvos, I'd like to discuss what is happening here where we're getting blamed for all these problems. This really bothers me. So the media, of course, no, oh, there's a huge supply chain problem. There's transportation. We can't get stuff to the stores. No, <laughs> no. What they're suggesting is that, again, ATA and everybody, well, you know, there's just not enough drivers, so that's why your stores are empty. And I will tell you today at Meyer, there were a lot of empty shelves. I was kind of surprised uh, and, uh, you know, a little bit concerned that there's not stuff at the store. But when we look at pictures, when we see what drivers are posting, uh, you all, what you should continue to do, we see that's not the case, is it? When we go over to Twitter and watch some of the pictures, a driver just yesterday posted a picture of a one mile long line of trucks waiting to get in to a large distribution center to deliver. All right. So it isn't a problem of there's not enough drivers. We're all stuck in line waiting to unload. The problem are these stupid distribution centers, these large retailers, right? Who would give you an appointment eight o'clock and uh, you don't get even into the door until 10, 12. Then it takes what, six hours to unload you? All right, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Why does anybody talk about that? Where's the ATA to talk about that? Now, there's other drivers posting, well, we should get paid for this. That's another story. The thing is, if you make an appointment, you should keep it, all right? And that includes a large distribution center or a place that has one dock and gets one truck a month. If you give somebody an 8 p.m., it ought to be, you ought to be ready for them at 8. If you're not, don't set the appointment at 8. Some places just set everybody's appointment when they open. All right, 6 a.m., everybody, and then you got 800 trucks showing up at the same time. <clears throat> no. That isn't right, and we shouldn't be blamed for those problems. That's not right to do. But, you know, expecting the media to report the truth, uh, you know, just is not going to happen in this country. It just is not going to happen. They're only going to follow what they're being told by a few spokesmen who have a lot of money. They never will actually look into anything, right? They won't investigate anything. You know, where's Geraldo when you need him? At least we know the truth of the bank vault. All right, at least we know the truth of that. This, These long lines have got to just end. I just don't understand why places do this. The other side of it, I guess, is people should have tolerated it, but that's hard to do. You know, the only thing you could do is demand to be paid for that time that you're waiting here. But we cannot be blamed for the problems that are happening when you can't get in to unload. All right, if you can't get in there and unload, the store can't get their stuff because nobody can get in there. It's just ridiculous. Sitting at a distribution center or warehouse or whatever for hours on end is just crazy. It's just crazy and stupid. It should end. It should end immediately. I don't know how to end that. There's really no way to do it until companies forcefully in, you know, go to enforce the amount of money that they say they charge for waiting time. That was the only way that a company like, you know, large distribution center is going to ever get you out on time. They have zero incentive to do anything, to hire anybody more or anything else. So I think everybody should insist their company charge these places a lot of money for holding up the truck. Till that happens, I don't know what to say. But what I do know is that it's time to go check out this Volvo. And we'll be back soon, like um, Monday, maybe at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time for the live show. So we'll see you there. And thanks for watching.